So I need to make a video about Tupac. Tupac is not someone who I've ever really talked about. Um, I know when um, I first started believing that I was a Leah, which was the 10th of the 10th, 2013, um, I did some more research, you know, into her. I, I wanted to just find out more about her, I guess. And um, when looking up her, I, I always found that I came across Tupac as well as Left Eye as well. But um, there was a lot of things about Tupac too. And I, I think he was very respected in the community. Um, a lot of people had a respect for him and they said that he was doing a lot of, of good work. Um, and I can't remember how he died or anything, but um, but yeah, I have um, I was listening to just some of his songs. Now I think I, I did that only because there was this video that said that he's still alive. And I really don't believe that's the truth because it happened so long ago. And yeah, there wouldn't have been so much talk about it if he were dead, but um, oh. Now that it seems that I, anyway, um, I, um, I listened to the Hail Mary one, and I think there might have been another one, but and then I, I came across um, the one about the baby. What's it called again? Um, Brenda's got a baby, um, and yeah, I, um, I, I really, really like that song. Um, I, I believe that he has another body or is getting in the process i don't know it's it's either had or, or just had or is about to um I, I don't really know um but i i i feel like um that doesn't that's not the important part the important part is there's so many people who are pro pro-life and they think that every baby should be born and you know i i really need to express how you know how awful it would be to be born into a, you know a 12 year old mother who whose parents don't really look after her and hence why she's got pregnant in the first place or maybe she's you know she's been groomed by her cousin or uncle or aunt you know and and how horrible it would be to be born into these families and i could there's good which is that these these kids could get adopted have new families um and um you know that some some people can't have kids and they generally do really want to have a cut child so um, adoption is not a, a bad option um, fostering is a bad option because um, the child basically is in like limbo for could be many many years and they you know they they believe people are made to be similar similar to their parents or if they're going to be adopted they're going to be similar to their, their future adopted parents if they get adopted later on it's 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 going to be less accurate to what the, the adopted parents are, are like and more similar to what the um the original parents are like but you know if, if people don't think about like how it would actually feel to be born to a 12 year old mother ask anyone of these pro-lifers you know would they like to have a 12 year old mum would they like to to know that their mum uh, only got pregnant because she was i don't know had sex with her cousin or got raped by an uncle or or, or someone who's maybe older and just literally got ra raped by a random on the street you know how would you like it if you were in that situation i think so many people are so big and they're thinking you know i'm better i'm this i'm that okay these kids that you know they're gonna die if it aren't for me i'm saving their life i'm doing them a favor and it's just like well if you put yourself in that situation how would you feel if you was that kid and then you'll be like well i'd rather be alive and have a child have you know have a 12 year old mum than not be alive it's like well that's not actually the case it's not a choice between having a 12 year old mum or having nothing no it's, it's a case of having a 12 year old mum or having parents that are you know ready and been preparing and saving up money that's you know i think the main problem is that people don't believe in reincarnation hence why they're all you know pro like pro lifers only just think about the um the the saving the lives and it's just like life is not that valuable life if if someone dies they just get reborn again so you know they their false belief that re reincarnation is not the truth is causing so many problems because you know, Tupac had a lot of fans and is very respected. But if if his fans knew that, you know, this there could be more truth to this Brenda song than than they let on, and they actually, or then is letting on, and they actually believe that he is going to be right now in this world, being born to a twelve year old with who's who's just had sex with his cousin and and was hiding the pregnancy, and I don't know. And and in that, in that song, the baby ends up in the bin as well. And uh, that kind of reminded me of how, what I said about my sister. Not that she would put a baby in the bin, but some people do have mental conditions that can't look after kids, hence why babies are, end up in bins. Um, and if someone's 12 year old and if, if that baby is causing ruin their life, you know, getting bullied by friends, getting 
um, believed or beaten up by parents for getting pregnant in the first place. You know, that's also a, a side effect of, of getting pregnant too young. You know, your, your parents might not be happy with you or see you as like some sort of dirty tramp or whatever, which 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 happens and I shouldn't. Um, but, you know, uh, if, if you knew that Tupac might be born into that family, you, you would 100% stop that from happening. So why would it make any difference if it's Tupac or if it's someone else? You know, you're still putting them in that horrible situation. Here they didn't believe in reincarnation, so that's, that would be the main reason why. But yeah, by by being pro-life, you're actually causing so much more suffering than than needs to be. Um, and um, yeah, um, I, I also, there was another thing that I talked about, which is, um, you know, I do think that you know, colored people can be white people and white people can be colored. So it, it's very, very, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter. But I know that there are some people who, who are happy to be black and prefer to or colored i stop saying black if they prefer to be um colored and and therefore they would much rather a child who's similar to them hence would rather you know have someone who was colored in their past life that way they would relate better um just like if someone's gay you know they might prefer a child who was also gay in their past life um doesn't matter on on necessary color but or, on mindset and and how a person is but technically colored people are often built brought up in you know certain environments that makes them kind of more similar to the people around them and if they're brought up in a, in a mostly colored area then you would be brought up to be like that kind of person and if you like being that kind of person then you you might actually rather have a child who is who is colored so i i think when it comes to like the races it does it does mix you know it definitely does mix but it, it can also you know say if you have some children and then you die and come back you know you are actually more likely to want to be in in your same bloodline as, as the one that you had before so you can stay as close to your family members as possible so sometimes i feel like souls do um reincarnate and reincarnate down and you know that there's a bigger picture actually that i'd like to talk about which is how my fish my guppies they um they like to eat eat their their own babies, which is not so good. But I, I feel like the celebrities are a lot of them are of the first, you know, at Martin's top hundred hundred kids. And um, well, they would have all had kids, and they would have all had kids. And you know, I feel like there is different types of of bloodlines and and stuff. And I feel like you know, I don't know how many they've had about ten. I think on average they've had about ten lives. Um, but yeah, often they come back. And they, they come back within the sort of same bloodline um but yeah fighting and stuff is is how there's so many people so tech, technically everyone is from these 12 tribe, tribes and therefore if they do do things that encourage fighting or whatever and necessarily through their music you know it is like they're kind of getting at their own kids because technically we're all we're all part of the same family we're all part of the same 12 bloodlines um and um and and yeah um, I don't know what else to say, but...